Hi, I'm Blair Gilbert, here for MrHardware.com and Gilbert's Pro Hardware, uh, doing a little island maintenance. We're out here on Harsons Island, and what we like to do out here is recycle as much as we can. We do not like to take and have to throw garbage away and, and deal with all that. So what we've done is I've taken a composter. You can get these all different ways. I've taken my composter and I've put it on two 4x6s to get it higher in the air. And I made a door so that I can take and pull my compost out of the bottom of my composter. And we throw it back on top. We don't put any meat products in here. We don't put any dog feces. It's strictly uh, leftover vegetables and organics from the garden and from the house. So in order to keep a compost working properly, you need to rotate it now and again. And you need to keep this wet. So what we do, this is old compost that I've recycled a couple of times. You can see how much dirt there is in there. I throw it back on top. I can gauge on how wet I'm keeping my compost. If it's still decomposing, this is looking pretty darn good. This dirt, there's no uh, weeds growing in here. I've thrown my old worms in here from fishing and stuff, so there'll be occasional worm growing in there. Worms, ants, all help. So this wood allows me to after a couple of times of flipping the soil over, the earth I pull out of the bottom of this will lay back into the rows of the garden. So if we put dirt in here, I'll take, I'll hose it down, I get to stay wet, and we'll throw another layer of organics, weeds, leftovers, anything green goes into this compost pit. This helps keep my garden growing strong, and I'm recycling all our waste, and we're not sending it to a landfill.